Hey guys, God bless you. Today we are reading Psalm 17, a prayer of David. O Lord, hear my plea for justice. Listen to my cry for help. Pay attention to my prayer, for it comes from honest lips. Declare me innocent, for you see those who do right. You have tested my thoughts and examined my heart in the night. You have scrutinized me and found nothing wrong. I am determined not to sin in what I say. My steps have stayed on your path. I have not wavered from following you. I am praying to you because I know you will answer, O God. Bend down and listen as I pray. Show me your unfailing love in wonderful ways. By your mighty power, you rescue those who seek refuge from their enemies. Guard me as you would guard your own eyes. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. Protect me from wicked people who attack me, from murderous enemies who surround me. They are without pity. Listen to their boasting. They track me down and surround me, watching for the chance to throw me to the ground. They are like hungry lions, eager to tear me apart, like young lions hiding in ambush. Arise, O Lord, stand against them and bring them to their knees. Rescue me from the wicked with your sword. By the power of your hand, O Lord, destroy those who look to this world for their reward, but satisfy the hunger of your treasured ones. May their children have plenty, leaving an inheritance for their descendants. Because I am righteous, I will see you. When I awake, I will see you face to face and be satisfied. And this psalm, it's um, only God could line this up. This psalm about those who are tracking King David down to surround him and for a, looking for a chance to take him out and ambush him goes hand in hand with the dream that I had yesterday that I prayed upon and the Lord um, released me to share it today. And it just happens to be about this topic of assassination attempts against the Lord's anointed in our day. And so I'll be posting that after this video, but he lined it up perfectly. And King David knows what it is to be running for his life, to be having to cry out to the Lord for his protection when nothing else could give him that security. And we see again a theme of the of him crying out for justice in a time that the wicked seemed to be prospering and the wicked were pursuing him, trying to take him out because of his anointing and because of their wickedness. Wickedness hates anointing. It will do anything it can to take out those that the Lord has chosen to, um, to be his vessels in that time. And we see that happening in this day as well. But I want to highlight a couple of things. The first is that David says, I have followed your commands, which keep which keep me from following cruel and evil people. So I know a lot of us are trying to keep our ear to the chest of God to understand who can be trusted, which leaders can be followed. And while some are more clear than others, I believe that there's a promise here in scripture that says, if we keep our life in surrender to the word of God, if we're staying in the word of God and obeying it with our life, and we're also listening to the spirit of God and not quenching the Holy Spirit, we will actually be able to easily discern which leaders in this hour can be trusted and who to follow. So those, even some believers and people of the world and other people who are of the world um, are following wicked leaders. And for some of us, it's like, how are you following that person? How are you supporting that person? It's because they are neglecting to line their lives up with the word of God and to listen to the spirit of God without their preconceived ideas and agendas. So we can be praying for those who are being deceived, but it'll be easy to see by the fruit of their lives that if they're listening and following someone that is evil and corrupt. And so uh, another thing that stands out to me is that David knows, he says, I know you will answer, O God. And so we need to have that same confidence that though it seems like the Lord tarries, that he delays, that we don't know if he can hear us, we can, like David, decree over ourselves that he, we know that he hears us. That is the promise. That is the truth straight out of the word of God and that he will hide us in the shadow of his wings. And I love this last part that I want to st um, focus on, that the, the, the wicked of the world, the Lord will judge those who are 
um, they're living their lives according to their own plans and purposes and pursuing wickedness and trying to take out the righteous, they will be dealt with by the hand of God. We don't, we can trust that. But he also says that he will satisfy the hunger of your treasured ones. There's protection and provision for the people of God. And we don't have to try to scrounge and plan ahead. Um, we can plan, but we don't do it in a way that doesn't trust the provision of God. Um, and and it says their children will have plenty, leaving an inheritance for their descendants. The Lord wants to abundantly bless and provide for his people in this hour when the world around us will experience lack and, and um, a lot of shaking. We will go through the shaking, but we will be provided for and protected supernaturally because we've come under the lordship of Jesus and let him rule and direct our steps. So I pray this blesses you.